One, two, three, four, five, six. Numbers. How many times we use them, but how little we think about them. Numbers have allowed us to monitor the world around us like nothing ever before. But when did we actually invent numbers? And were they always the same for every single civilization? Well, it turns out that our ancestors started using telemarks almost 25,000 years ago. Looks familiar, right? Yes, because we still use it nowadays. An invention that lasted 25,000 years. Hello, 150 petrol, please. 100, 150. So the telemax that we just saw at the beach was just an example of one type of system. The telemax were just the beginning of a journey that saw different parts of the world adopt different systems to monitor life around them. For example, the Babylonians used the 60 base system where to this day still exists. For example, there's 60 seconds in one minute. Thank you. And the Romans, they used the seven base system and they didn't even think about the negative numbers and the zeros. So you see, different civilizations have different systems. So, in the course of this episode, we will learn as much as we can about numbers because a numerically literate person responds better to the challenges of life. Today, we're going to learn five concepts in this first section, we're going to understand the number system. The number system is a system of expressing or representing numbers. The number system is classified as natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, and real numbers. We will be understanding each one of them. Before we get to the classification of number system, let me tell you quickly about what digits or numerals are. The 10 symbols that we have in our number system, starting from zero to nine, are digits or numerals. We follow the base 10 decimal number system, and these 10 symbols are used to create all numbers of this system. First, Let's see what natural numbers are. The group begins with number one and goes forward endlessly. One, two, three, four, and so on. Remember, zero is not a natural number and does not belong to this group. Also, no negative numbers or decimals are included in this group. Next comes the whole numbers. The whole number group consists of all the natural numbers plus zero. So basically, this group has numbers starting from zero, followed by all the natural numbers, one, two, three, and so on. Integers consist of whole numbers, but they include both positive and negative whole numbers. Remember, Zero is also a part of this group. So, to summarize the three groups so far, natural numbers are the counting numbers starting from one. They do not have zero, negative numbers, or decimals. If we add zero to the natural number group, it becomes whole number group. And if we add negative whole numbers to the whole number group, we get the integers group. Next, we have rational numbers. This group includes 
all three groups we have learned so far, and it also includes fractions. Every integer, natural or whole number, is a rational number as they all can be expressed as a fraction. For example, 2 can be written as 2 over 1, which is a fraction, and hence a rational number. Remember, there are infinite rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Irrational numbers are the numbers that are not rational numbers, or in other words, cannot be expressed as an integer or ratio of two integers. The numbers in this group can only be expressed as non-repeating decimal fractions. For example, square root of 2 is 1.4142135623. In this number, there is no repetition of decimals, and hence, it falls under the irrational number group. The last and final group is the real numbers group. All the groups that we have learned so far put together constitute this group. That is, natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational and irrational number groups together form the real number system. This is the number system and is the most fundamental concept to start off with basic numeracy. So that's all in this section, folks. I will see you in a short